Welcome to the island of contemplation. The Oxford English Dictionary defines contemplation as the action of looking thoughtfully at something for a long time, or as deep, reflective thought. Yet contemplation has also been associated with transcendence of the intellect, to reach for or achieve knowledge of the divine. There are rich traditions of contemplation within Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, and New Age spiritualities. A contemporary and secular take on contemplation is known as mindfulness, defined as awareness of the present moment coupled with non-judgmental attention to one's internal states and surroundings. Mindfulness practice has been proven as an effective treatment of anxiety, stress, trauma, and chronic pain, and there are benefits for its use in the classroom too, a movement known as contemplative pedagogy. But how is this related to information science? Well, consider the data, information, knowledge, wisdom, pyramid, where information science is centered upon the middle phenomena, mainly information and its expression as information behavior. A higher level of the pyramid, namely wisdom, may find its expression in contemplation, an alternative, more inward searching way of knowing. In an age of much dysfunction at the information level, information science has nothing to lose and much to gain by shifting its attention upwards. Behold, the governor of this island is Dr. David Levy from the University of Washington. More than a decade ago, he explored these matters in a course, Information and Contemplation. And he wrote a book, Mindful Tech, How to Bring Balance to Our Digital Lives. In Mindful Tech, Professor Levy invites us to non-judgmentally observe our experience of personal technologies, a practice that he casts as digital craftsmanship. Dr. Levy encourages people to become better digital craftspersons by watching their feelings, bodies, and thoughts when using technology. Another book, The Mindful Librarian, Connecting the Practice of Mindfulness to Librarianship, applies the principles of mindfulness to reference service in the student research process. For my part, at the Faculty of Information, the University of Toronto, I teach a workshop entitled Information and Contemplation. Over six weeks, my students learn a variety of contemplative practices using the Center for Contemplative Mind in Society's Tree of Contemplative Practices as a guide. Graduates of this workshop become information professionals who know how to guide people from information to deeper, more personal, contemplative ways of knowing. In the spirit of this island, let's pause and breathe. Take a long, slow breath in to a count of four, Hold it for a count of four, and exhale for a count of four. It's time to leave the island of contemplation, but I hope you return often.